This is Matt Farine, two walks in, delight to be joined by Lee and let's go management show tonight mate. I mean, I'm just going to let you start off, normally we'd review top to bottom, we've seen knockouts, we've seen shocks, 50-50 fights from the top to the bottom. Upsets. Yeah, upsets, I know, sadly for yourself, but talk to me about tonight, we've just seen a great main event as well, um, Lucas has been in there, done his thing, got a title, great night of boxing. Yeah, no, listen, obviously this is a great, great night of boxing. Um, absolutely over the moon with it. Um, yeah, it had everything. It had obviously upsets, knockouts, title winnings. Uh, it's just like a very, very... Uh, obviously, Jordan Perkins is a very... Yeah. I've got a good relationship with Jordan. And obviously, I signed him straight from... like He had a few years out, signed from the amateurs. Um, so for to bring him in and get him to the Southern Area Champion within five fights, no matter how see see I can get like British title fights last yeah. week with Gavin Gwynn and stuff like that. But see these Southern Areas, so they still breed great great fights, and, and it, the proudness I've got of Jordan and him winning titles, no matter what, even if you, you're winning one fight or two fights, it's just like unbelievable proudness of the fighters i was going to come on to that probably as the first point i got your reaction live and you can see what it means to you um i've asked you before what um your aim is to do with fighters and the first thing you said is i want to be able to pay the mortgage i want them to own a house i want to do this you can tell your relationship you've got with jordan talk to me what's that feeling like when he gets announced the winner yeah nice no, unbelievable <laughs> obviously i'm always, you always there's a few photos of me jumping about <laughs> and silly facial expressions and that but it's, it's just passion do you know what i mean yeah. i Managing fighters is what I love doing, and obviously giving them the opportunities to win titles and stuff like that. That's that's exactly what I'm in the game for, and yeah. I, I I love I love the sport. Listen, sometimes I hate it most of the time anyway, yeah. but it ain't see matchmaking like matchmaking a fighter from their their debut up to titles. Obviously, it's a, yeah. So southern area, I don't I don't think we've done the Z's done. It's a southern area English title, British title. Do you know what I mean? And things that's that's where like it gives you the absolute buzz, you know what I mean? So, but obviously I'm a bit gutted for Joe Giles. He dared to be great tonight in, a, in his full fight. He, he took on a four and two kid with three KOs. So he got caught. It is what it is. Um, come again, though? No? Yeah, he come again. This is a great, great fan-friendly fighter. He, um, he... He's, um, what's he called? He's not had the best camp. Uh, a lot of things happened. There was a few queries on his medical and stuff like that. It got done, only got done last week. So this is what it is. We move on. He bring him back um, and just go from now. But um, yes, obviously seeing um, Michael Ballingall, um, Michael McKinson's brother, uh, Lucas, Lucas, win the yeah. English title was pretty good. Obviously, me and Michael have had a great, great run yeah, over the last yeah. few years, and it's good to see like the passion he has for his brother and stuff like that. And Martin McDonough as well. Uh, what a knockout. Watching that from the entrance ramp, that was some yeah. finish. The noise in here was incredible tonight. Atmosphere in here tonight has been like, one of the best I've ever seen at your call. But Martin McDonough, I had him, I had Martin for his first 10 or 11 pro fights or yeah. something like that. So... It, for him to come win a title, it's good to see, and um, it's, it's good working with them. But yeah, that atmosphere tonight has just been incredible, unbelievable. This is what we love about boxing, not just, um, obviously we talk about the big events, the ones you see at Wembley, but when you get an intimate atmosphere like your call, it's my first time doing your call, yeah. and I was tapping everyone going, this is the one. Yeah. Talk to me about the atmosphere and why we have to keep coming back here. But listen, that's what I'm saying, people see, see all these big events, that's what people think boxing is. It's not. The, boxing yeah. is small halls, yeah? See like your prom promoters like Carl Greaves, Steffi Ball, uh, there's, lo there's loads of them, yeah? yeah. Um, just that's how that's how these fighters grow from that small hall scene. Give me a budget of what they get on Sky Match Route. Can match you imagine if you uh, get given a budget? <laughs> listen, if I've got a budget, listen, I, I'm I'm not blowing my own trumpet. Listen, I I love my job and I do what I do. But listen, if I had a budget, it's like the shows you can do, it's unbelievable. But you, I've just done like a great great show like that on no budget. So it's listen, it's. It's hard at the bottom. See, fighters, like, matching fights. I, I lost two fights. I lost a fight this morning. Yeah, yeah. We lost a fight this morning because, obviously, it's a, a illness and stuff like that. Lost a fight yesterday because he couldn't match him. Nearly lost a, a fight with the biggest ticket seller on Wednesday. It's, it's, it's hard at that bottom level. Yeah. But, listen, that's what we do. So, it is what it is. It's just... 
carrying on and and doing what we've got to do. Is that the dream one day where you do have a budget to put on a, an event of like I'm not not downplaying this, but I mean of some size where you can really push the boat up because you are doing it with little to no budget and putting these type of shows on. Mm. Yeah, no, listen, everyone wants a budget. But listen, promoting without a budget is, is horrific. Every promoter in the country that does small ball boxing will say, um, on on wet first, yeah, for, for Wednesday, on deadline day for uh, foreign boxers, there was three other promoters looking for the, exactly the same fighter, uh, exactly for the same weight, yeah? And I, I took the Latvian, who's just won. So I took the risk, and it, it's backfired on me. But do you know what? It was a 50-50 fight. Joe was winning the fight, yeah. but obviously he, he got caught. It is what it is. But that, this game, this game's horrible at that bottom. But listen, it is what it is. That's what we're in for, and we just yeah. keep moving. But that's what this game is about in terms of a buzz and stuff like that. And you pride yourself on putting on competitive fights. No one wants to watch eight fights where there's one guy no, eight to one on to win nobody wants to watch that i'm sure no. you do so that that's what we have to keep going here so how have you found this event let's go management you're up and running in two boxing it's been it's been it's been a good start hasn't it? yeah this is a good start obviously we had talk sport here tonight um it's, yeah, it's, it's been good um hopefully the views was good hopefully seen by the twitter and that that everyone was happy um, I'm just I'm just happy that it's, it's it's run successful. There was four 50-50 fights tonight, and that's what boxing needs: fighters fighting each other. Because listen, seeing one-sided fights and stuff like that it ain't no good. So listen, it's just we're back again in October fifteenth with Nina Hughes fighting in uh, Grays, and then Dee Allen fighting for her first title. Yeah. Um, and then we're back here at end end of October. With uh, Reese Bellotti versus Amin Jahanzeb, which is an unbelievable yeah, fight, English fight. title. Jeff Afori versus um, Mace Ruig. And then Lynn Sandstrom making a UK debut, Australian. She's um, fighting for a title as well. So, and then we've got a stacked undercard. So we've got, and then we've got another one, November the 11th. So we, we've got shows every two weeks, which keeping the fighters busy and doing what we can. Obviously, bring it into a helping. That little bit moves the shows forward. Um, obviously, maybe Talk Sport will take more shows and stuff like that. So, listen, it's good. Things are good. I'm just looking forward to moving um, as fast with the fighters and seeing what we can do and making champions. 100% making champions. Well, long may it continue if it's anything like tonight. I'm sure it'll be a long, long-lasting relationship. So, look, Lee, and thanks for talking to In Two Boxing. It's been a pleasure. Cracking night again. And we'll catch up for the next one. No worries. Thank you very much, mate.